Hi there, in this Microsoft Access video I'll quickly look at creating uh, switchboards and using switchboards. So in this um, database I have some forms and I have some reports. So forms will allow a user to in uh, insert data into these tables without having to see the tables and then reports will get the data out. So basically what I'm going to create uh, with these switchboards is a user interface so that a non-technical user can access these forms and these reports so they can add data to the database they can get the data from the database um, but they don't need to see all of the tools that we presently see they don't need to author anything as far as the structure of the database so uh, first of all I need my switchboard manager so I'm gonna go home uh, sorry file options and then customize ribbon I'm going to add a new group to my database tools so I'll select database tools add a new group and I'll rename it switchboards you can call it whatever you like but switch switchboards makes sense to me switchboard if you like and okay and then I'm going to add the switchboard manager to that group so that's under all commands and then down to the S's SW is what I'm looking for should be the almost the last S there there we are switchboard and I have switchboard the switchboard custom group selected when I add that command it gets added to the group that I had selected and I'll choose OK and now under database tools you'll see I have a switchboard manager so I click on the switchboard manager um, access tells me there are no switchboards presently ask me if I want to create one I'll say yes this will be called the main switchboard so this will be the home switchboard so what I'm gonna have on the home switchboard is two buttons one that creates a new that opens up a new switchboard that contains all of my forms and then the second button will open up another switchboard that contains all the reports and then I'll also have an exit button on the main switchboard. Um, on each of those switchboards that open, I'll have uh, buttons for all of the forms and the reports respectively, as well as a button to go back to the main switchboard. So first of all, I'm just gonna quickly create two new switchboards, called one's called forms, one called reports. So I'll call that forms. So these will be blank at this point, and new, and reports. And okay and then on the main switchboard I'll add buttons to open those two switchboards so I'll edit that switchboard switchboard name whoops sorry I don't edit I double click on it oh sorry I do edit and edit or double click will work and then new and new switchboard command go to switchboard forms and I'll call that forms. Choose OK. And new. And reports. Go to switchboard reports. The two switchboards are created. And one more command. Exit. And exit application. So that opens up those two switchboards so on the form switchboard so I'm just gonna double click on that uh, let's close this and then I'll double click on the form switchboard it's presently blank and I'm gonna add a new command called uh, customers something like that go to switchboard uh, I want to open form and edit. Edit allows us to add and edit. Add only allows us to add. So I want to be able to add and edit all the data or give the ability to the end user to edit and add. And so this will be the customer form. Okay. New. And next one is uh, employees. And again, form and edit. And employees. And new and 
next one is products. And in edit and products and new. And last one is sales form. And again, open form and edit form sales. Okay. And then I also want a button to go back to the main switchboard. So new, new switchboard command, go to switchboard and main switchboard. And I'll say the home. Okay. And I'll do the same thing on the reports, except for instead of forms, I'll have reports. So customers. And open report. Customers and new. Next one is employees. Report employees and new. Next one is products. And finally sales. And one more button to go back home uh, to the main switchboard. So um, go to switchboard, whoops. Go to switchboard, main switchboard. And close. And close. So now to look at this thing you see that under my forms I now have this thing called a switchboard. If I double click on it, that's what the switchboard looks like. I think we might have, uh, if we go to um, layout view we can change the design as well. Let's see if we have different themes for switchboards. Oh we do as well. Let's see what happens if we go with a green one. Nothing. So the designs don't work with switchboards, unfortunately. Oh, maybe they do. Maybe the button's changed. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to go back to form view. So now if I click on my forms button, it open up, opens up my forms switchboard. So if I want to look at my customer's form, employee's form, so I can add data for all of those, add or edit. And then home will take us back to the main switchboard reports, customers report, employees, products, sales, home back to the main switchboard. And then if we want to exit the application, which I'm not going to do. Um, now, one thing about this is we want to seal this up. So this is all the end user sees. They don't see the, uh, this is called the, um, I can't remember what it's called, but uh, Object Explorer or something like that, and a ribbon. So we can hide all of these commands so that they would no longer author anything. And what we'll do is we'll choose the switchboard to be the default form that will open. So when the database is opened, all they see is a switchboard, and they can just access those objects that we've given them buttons to access. So I'm just going to close everything. And I'll go to File and options and current database and first of all I'll display the switchboard for display form and then under I don't want any dis navigation pane yeah that's, that's what this is called as a navigation pane and I don't want to see anything no menus no shortcut menus and I'll choose OK and I'll choose OK and I'll close the database like it asked me to do, and I'll open it up again. And there it is there. So now I see no objects, no forms, no reports, no ability to uh, manipulate anything. So I can go to forms, open up my forms, Reports. 
open up our reports. Basically, we have the ability to, of seeing all of the data via reports and entering all of the data via form. So everything that an end user needs to do with a database, but they won't break the database. They can't manipulate any of these objects. So yeah, that's basically creating uh, switchboards um, and then adding all of those the buttons to access reports and forms in various modes as well as creating more switchboards and setting up the actual database so that uh, it's basically sealed up for non-technical users. Thanks so much for watching.